In this video, we'll take a look at how you can specify architecture rules within Lattice. So what we have is a system here uh, that has four distinct layers. Uh, a utilities layer at the bottom, uh, which contains the functions that other layers use. A driver layer then that sits on top of it. And then on top of the driver layer is a hardware abstraction layer. Uh, and then on top of the hardware abstraction layer is the COM layer, which happens to be the application level entities of this application. So I, I have dollar $root selected right now. And what you can see on the right-hand side are the set of rules that are associated with my dollar $root, which is the entire system. And the first rule says dollar $root can use dollar $root, which means that every element of the system can use itself. Uh, and the other two rules refer to the external dependencies of this of the system that we have loaded. Now let's come to util uh, uh, layer, and we don't want the utilities layer to have any dependencies on the layers above it. So first, we'll make a rule about the dependence of util on driver, uh, and the cell I have selected is the cell that indicates the dependency of util on driver. And so I simply right-click on that cell, select the menu item modify rule and select cannot use. And when I do that, you can see that a little yellow triangle showed up in the lower left corner of the cell, indicating that there is a rule which uh, which disallows dependency of util on drive. Next, let's uh, look at the dependency of util on the hardware abstraction layer. Once again, I'll right click, modify rule and say cannot use. And I've created a rule which says that util should have no dependencies on the on HAL, the hardware abstraction layer. However, there were two dependencies there already. Uh, and therefore, that particular cell was marked with a red triangle at the upper right corner of the cell, indicating that there are violations. And finally, let's go ahead and create a rule which says utilities cannot depend on COM. And once again, I've made a rule which, so now I made now three rules. Util does cannot depend on uh, driver, HAL, and COM. And in fact, you can select multiple cells at the same time. So if you don't want driver to depend on the hardware abstraction layer, if you don't want driver to depend on the COM layer, and we don't want HAL to depend on the COM layer, then I simply right click on all three of those cells that I have selected and I say cannot use, and now we have created uh, rules for this form of layering. And in fact, this layering is being violated because we can see a number of different violations uh, that exist uh, in, in the system. And once you have made these set of rules, uh, then you, when you update the project, uh, the new, uh, with, the, with change sources, uh, a report will identify what new violations were introduced, and what violations were fixed. And that's how you typically start specifying your rules. You start at the high, at the top level and walk your way down. If we then wanted to go inside COM, uh, we could expand COM, and then we could make rules for the COM subsystem, which in turn has many different applications sitting on top of a common framework. And one set of rules there would be to make these components or these applications independent of each other in which case you would have rules which would be both above the diagonal and below the diagonal. So in this way, you can specify LaTeX, using LaTeX, you can specify uh, your various layers and components and ensure that as your code is changed, the architecture is maintained.